Hello world and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rhea. I'm a three-time musical finalist and I'm here to answer your musical questions. So let's get into it. Today I'm responding to a comment that I got on one of my videos and I just wanted to talk about ad hoc props. So this comment says, I also appeared for the December's bronze contest for a few months and I was extremely disappointed to support and that's extremely disappointed to score 696, which is just below any single possible cutoff. I used the contest log, wrote on paper, and other methods. I just feel like I was ready for something. I think this was a typo that says I wasn't ready, which means I wasn't ready for something. As odd as problem three. And as, and as ad hoc problem solving is so unique, it's hard to predict. I kind of wish they would remove these topics. So here's the thing about ad hoc problems. Ad hoc problems just get more and more prevalent the higher in division you go up. And let me explain what I mean by that. So you can learn the different algorithms and data structures, and you should. For bronze, there's not really any of those, but for silver through platinum, there are. You should learn the different topics that might show up. But in order to use those, you're gonna need problem solving skills, which are ad hoc. So just because there's a problem which uses DFS or BFS or prefix sums or binary search or Fenwick tree or segment tree or any sort of stuff like that, you're going to need to use problem solving skills, which is ad hoc skills, in order to figure out the rest of the problem. So even if you're solving a problem with dynamic programming to figure out what your state should be, what your transition should be, problem solving skills, which just comes back to ad hoc skills. So ad hoc problems, they're not going away, right? The higher in the vision you get, basically in gold, if there's a problem that's straightforward dexterous, most people will be able to solve that. But the reason the problems are hard is because there's a lot of ad hoc stuff in the problems in addition to using the algorithm. So I get that it's frustrating to not do as well as you thought. I get that it's frustrating to see something completely different that you've never seen before, but ad hoc problems aren't going away. So what can we do about this? Well, obviously the solution is get better at ad hoc problems. I don't think there's any question about that. So how do you get better at ad hoc problems? Honestly, the first thing is to change your mindset around them. If whenever you see an ad hoc problem, you're gonna be like, oh damn, I, I hate this. I can't do ad hoc problems. You're just gonna do worse than them, right? It, it's, I believe it'll actually affect your score and it might make it less likely that you'll get those problems. Just because if you don't believe you can solve it, you're gonna try less hard whenever like something comes up that is confusing or hard on the problem. So change your mindset. Be like, hey, ad hoc problems are here to say and I'm gonna get really good at them. With that mindset, now you walk into a problem, something's like tripping you up, you're gonna work harder at it, right? So change that mindset first and then just practice a bunch of problems. Spend a month or two solely working on ad hoc problems. You're gonna get so good at them that ad hoc problems are now gonna become your best topic. You're gonna be like, oh, this data structure or algorithm shows up and I haven't learned it. Damn it, I wish there were more ad hoc problems. You're gonna want there to be more ad hoc problems. Now, obviously you should learn different topics, but as you mentioned you're in bronze. So if you advance from bronze to silver and you haven't yet learned the silver topics, the ad hoc problems in silver are gonna be your friend. So change your mindset, think about it as ad hoc problems are like the greatest thing ever. And maybe it'll touch you a little bit better. Um, and then also, obviously, you need to work a bunch on ad hoc problems, right? Changing your mindset will give you, will help you push through when things get tough, but you're not just gonna magically become better. You're gonna need to work a lot um, on ad hoc problems. So ad hoc problems are here to stay, just practice them. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video later. Bye.